this is about the spiritual and physical manifestation of the book of Revelation. The prophecy is coming true. Revelation chapter 17 And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials and talked with me saying unto me Come here I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that stands upon many waters two with whom the leaders of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. 3. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a red-colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. 4. And the woman was arrayed in blue and red color, and decked with gold and precious stones and white pearls having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. 5. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. 6. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. 7. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore did thou marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carries her, which has the seven heads and ten horns. 8. The beast that thou saw was and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder, whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world. When they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is. 9. And here is the mind which has wisdom. These seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sits. 10. And there are seven leaders Five are fallen, and one is, and the other is not yet come. And when he comes, he must continue a short space. Eleven, and the beast that was, and is not, even he is the eighth, and is of the seven, and goes into perdition. Twelve, and the ten horns which thou saw are ten leaders which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as leaders one hour with the beast. 13. These have one mind, and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. 14. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them, for he is Lord of lords and King of kings, and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. 15. And he said unto me, The waters which thou saw, where the whore stands, are peoples, and multitudes, and nationalities, and languages. 16. And the ten horns which thou saw upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. 17. For God has put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their nation unto the beast until the words of God shall be fulfilled. 18. And the woman which thou saw is that great city which reigns over the leaders of the earth. Yes, it's time for this prophecy to be fulfilled. And these are more signs. Weapons of mass destruction are dangerous and ultimately useless. Nuclear weapons place society under the constant threat of nuclear terrorism or even accidental launching. If the world powers 
failed to ratify a nuclear test ban treaty, international tensions, and even a new arms race would come about if test explosions resume. For some vulnerable countries, the real value of nuclear bombs today is not as status symbols, but as a potential deterrent against an, an American attack. Every time that Washington uses or threatens military action against such countries, which it has done so often in recent years, more states seek to obtain nuclear weapons. Yes, Revelation 18 comes quickly.